impartation of the spirit of faith. Impartation of the spirit of faith. The church of Jesus is ordained for glory, honor, beauty, and dignity. It shall come to pass in the last days, Isaiah chapter 2, 2 to 3, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established at the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. All nations. Some people will come into church and many people shall go and say, come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, the house of the God of Jacob and we teach us his ways and we walk in his path for out of Zion shall go for the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He said, people will come and say, how are church people making it? That shall be someone's new beginning and new story in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Our dominion should be unquestionable as the church. In Psalm 110, to 3 the Bible declares, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at my right hand until I make thy enemies a what? Thy footstool. He said, the Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of that. That God said, in the midst of your enemies, rule. That is, witches have no power to stop you. He said, rule thou in the midst of the enemies. Is that true? He said, in the midst, not in the, in the midst of the witches and wizards, he said, rule. He said, there are people who shall be willing to do of his power, of the power. Now, God said, when you begin to pray in this name, people will have no choice but to say, leave him alone. Leave her alone. In the beauties of holiness, from the womb of the morning, that has the two of the huge shout hallelujah. He said, you should rule. Oh, oh, it's which is what I mean. That's childish. That's what? That's childish. I, I would have been where I would have been if not for these forces. He said, that's that elementary. But it will take the spirit of faith for that to be accomplished. You can't accomplish in the flesh. You can't do it in power and mind. The spirit of faith makes you dear the impossible. Speak the unbelievable and take giant steps to get results. I said the spirit of faith makes you to dear the impossible. Speak the unbelievable. Make, it makes you take giant steps to get results. The spirit of faith puts in command over the affairs of life. From this day you shall be in command. You don't act as a mediocre with the spirit of faith. Problems don't move you. You stand on the integrity of God's word to commit him to perform because God is not a man that he should lie. Verse 23, verse 19. That's not what I should repent. That means you know that whatever God says is committed to making it happen. And whatever God has said that you believe, I decree to come to pass in your life. You had this and you well, you triumph with trials. Taking the shield of faith, where we actually quench all the fiery dust of the wicked. You see promises and not problems. You partner with the invisible God to do the impossible and incredible. He said, with men it may be impossible, not with God, for with God all things are what? Possible. Mark 10 to the 9. And he said, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. To him that what? What is the spirit of faith? What is the spirit of faith? It is the supernatural prompting of the Holy Spirit that makes you confront issues without fear. The spirit of faith is the supernatural prompting of the Holy One Spirit that makes you confront issues without fear. A typical example in the Bible is Elijah and Elisha. He said the spirit of Elijah does rest on who? Elisha. In, my, in, in 2 Kings 2 verse 15. The same grace at work here will begin to answer to you right now. 
Now listen. We have the word of faith. Which teaches you the word. When you are taught the word. Faith comes by what? That level is a different level. Are you getting what I'm saying now? We have the gift of faith. Which makes you understand the word of God. But the spirit of faith makes you act on the word to produce results. There are three dimensions. There are three what? Dimensions. It drives you to accomplish the impossible. That's the spirit of faith. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Now, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13, it said, we having the spirit of faith. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? We having the same spirit. So, the spirit of faith is the same. It's what? It depends on how you are able to use it. Are you getting what I'm saying now? We having the same spirit of faith according as it is written. I believed. And therefore, have I what? We also believe and therefore speak. The major instrument for the little spirit of faith is your mouth. Is the mouth. Is what? He said, we have been the same spirit of what? Faith. The spirit of faith is released through your mouth. That when you declare something, people will say, what is it possible? And it comes to pass. Today you'll be baptized afresh with it. The spirit of faith is impacted. It's not taught. You don't, you don't get it by somebody teaching you. It is impacted. It's what? Impacted. In Romans chapter 1 and verse 11, Paul speaking said, For I long to see you that I may impact unto you somewhat spiritual gift. To the end, you may be established. So you're impacted and you begin to do this naturally, you know that you couldn't have done. <laughs> Are you getting me now? Today, as I'm speaking God's word, you've been impacted in the name of Jesus. Yeah. After that, just listen. Just imagine this church having one to two thousand people carrying what I carry. The world will continue us. Get what I'm saying? Just imagine one thousand members of this church carrying this grace I carry. Can the world continue us? Today, you will be a carrier of this grace in the name of Jesus. He said, I long, Paul said, I long to see you that I may impact unto you. So I'm spiritual what? Now look at the man Abraham. He heard God's word in Romans chapter 4, 17 to 21. The Bible said, as it is written, I've made a friend of many nations. Now he heard the, the word spoken to him. But he staggered not. How, hearing God's word is one. Not staggering is another. You can hear God's word, but when challenges come, you stagger. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Abraham did not stagger because of the spirit of faith. He did not shake. He did not say, God, is it going to happen? Are you talking about, are you getting what I'm talking about? He heard God's word. We gave him, the word of faith came, he heard God's word. But the spirit of faith was what kept him never to shake. Are you getting what I'm talking about? He got the word of faith, but the spirit of faith kept him without staggering. Many of us have gotten the word of faith. We hear God's word, but the spirit of faith was to make you to do the incredible and do the impossible. Are you getting me now? It's not the same level. You can hear God's word. Greater is it that is in me. That's the word. Then it gets to a point, you, look, you point your finger at an armor and say, drop your gun, who are you? That is not normal. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Now, the greater is it that is in you. You have heard God's word. Now, when the spirit of faith comes upon you, you look at a man with arms and say, shut up, drop that gun. That is not normal. Are you getting what I'm talking about? You, that, you don't do that with the word of faith. You do it with the word spirit of faith. You don't, the armor would not be, the armor would not be, you want to be shaken. I have men, men with gun, caught, clap, clap, and I put my hand in my pocket. That is not word of faith, that's spirit of faith. And I say, Gria Tempa, Kosa, there's not them. Drop, we make go. That is the spirit of faith. Today, I'm speaking to someone whose heart is open. You will baptize the spirit of faith in the name of Jesus. He said, and the spirit entered into me. Is it to do? When he spoke unto me. So as I'm speaking, something will enter. And the spirit entered into me when he spoke unto me and set me upon my feet. 
that I heard him that spoke unto me. We have been the same spirit of faith. Is that your Bible? The spirit of faith is a speaking faith. It is fearless declaration with absolute trust in God. That's the spirit of faith. The spirit of faith tears what scares. It is by the Holy Spirit, not preconceived. You don't preconceive it, it comes on the spot. Are you getting up to that? You don't premeditate it. When it comes, it just come. As opposition arises, the manifestation is stirred up. The spirit of faith as it works. In Matthew chapter 10, 19 to 20, it's about when they deliver you up. Take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. Did you hear that? For it is not you, that here is you, that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. That is what we talk about, spirit of faith. You don't premeditate. It just, it just comes like that. Bah! You've seen me most times happen in the church. No, I have previous arrangement. I just come up and I say some things. Even me, he said, we say, this is not me. One day I just get up, no premeditation. I said, listen, who is that fox in such a little I didn't premeditate. That's the spirit of faith. The whole world was on a standstill. Opera, I didn't shake one second. And that was the end of people's insulting the on, on social media anyhow. By the way, true? It was becoming like a daily affair. Then the spirit of faith came upon me and I said, listen, I come there alive to see my father's being insulted. And I, I roar like a lion. I said, dead that fox. If he tries it, he's gone. He was shaking like a chicken. That is, I didn't premeditate it. I didn't plan it. It was not, it was on the spot. Today you'll be baptized with that same spirit. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Is the spirit entered into when he spake unto me? I'll share some testimonies with you. But you know, I have the spirit of faith. We are holding a crusade in Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt is where we are operating from in Nigeria. And a young man was at the peak of his career called 50 Cent. This young man was at the peak of his musical career. And he was to come to Port Harcourt to perform the same day we are holding crusade. The biggest brewery in Nigeria did the advert for 50 cents. The whole nation was in a standstill, including the city of Padakot, that 50 cents was coming. And then I knew that if 50 cents should come, even those who planned the crusade would go for that program. And the spirit of faith came upon me in the, on the crusade. I said, listen, I was saying this the night to the day it would come. I said, 50 cents will not come tomorrow. I said, no premeditation. I said, listen, two kids can rain. We can't be holy crusade and 50 cents come to do this go here. It will not come tomorrow. Civic center was quiet. A young boy said, oh boy, if this guy no come, I'll go there born again. He shot the altar. He had gentleman here. As the word went forth, the following day, 50 cents boarded a flight. Confusion started. Heavy confusion between him and Nigerian P man. And then and then he was advised to go back to America. Then the boy said, So 50 cents no come. He gave his life as a member of this church. I don't know what has threatened that your business. It will bow to you now in the name of Jesus. A governor of this state, very dreaded governor, said he was going to bring this building where we are transmitting from down. <laughs> and he sent armed men. He said, go and mark that building and demolish it. He used the word, they're nuisance. That was the word he used. He said, bring it down. And I came up. Pastor Chinike was talking to them. I was upstairs. And all of a sudden, the spirit of faith came upon me. Bah! I came down. I said, who is the person who's talking? I said, if you bring this building down and you don't die by morning, God don't send me as not the owner of this building. The man said, with armed men, no. This man, we are armed. Police everywhere. Army everywhere. You did, I didn't see it. I saw stick. Split or what? Faith. I said, listen. It was no joke. They were bringing the bulldozers at the roundabout. The bulldozers knocked. Physically knocked. Because I have declared it. Every arrangement of hell to destroy your destiny. 
will be knocked down now. In the name of Jesus, every man to attack any of us will go down now. In the name of Jesus. Witches, we were holding a crusade in Enugu. Enugu is the eastern part of Nigeria. And witches, the same day, said we are going to hold a witch council meeting in one of the university campuses. <laughs> it was on social media. Two professors were coordinating it. They brought to my notice that witches are to hold meeting the day we are holding crusade. And I said, listen, when I remember at Bishop Bessidaosa's testimony, Stir the spirit of faith in me. I said, listen, those witches will never hold that meeting. I declared it. One died before the meeting. And then meeting never held. I stand in my office. Every witch and wizard against you and I dies this weekend. In the name of Jesus. gave his land for the cathedral. A government organization came up and said, because of political reasons, backed up with the governor of that time, said, tell them not to build on that land. I called the governor myself. I prayed for him to be governor before he became governor. After I guess all odds against him. He said, Reverend, no, 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 you will look for another land. At that point, I said, this is an insult. The spirit of faith came upon me. I sent people, they said, there's nothing we can do. We should go and look for another place. I said, listen, not one inch of that land will be taken. I said, not, they said, sir, consent some part. I said, shut up! Not one, one step of that land will not be taken. Then some two young men in charge of the organization said, let's see whether he talks, whether he can do it. One gave a written note and said, go and demolish the offense. One gave the order, one executed the order. With armed military men, truck as if they are going for war. They went to the fence, <laughs> they brought the fence down. Then spirit of faith came upon me on a Thursday service like this. I went to the center, I lifted the block, I said, the same way they brought down this block, all the lives, both military and the one gave the order pieces now. I gave the order Thursday night. By Friday, the one who gave the order, he went to nine club as he was coming. I'm going to hit him back. He died on the spot. The other one slept and did not wake up. The two of them died. As you know, military men can't survive it. Everybody behind died. Today, people dread that land. You think they left the place? They dread the place because they know that there is a force have gone forth. I don't know who has vowed to bring any of us down. Their life will be pieces now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has vowed to bring us down to stop our businesses, their lives will be pieces this weekend. If you believe in same like a believer. In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Hear this and hear me well. No adversary can stand against any declaration empowered by the spirit of faith. A dear's was scarce. Receive the baptism of the spirit of faith now in the name of Jesus. I'll give you some scriptural instances of manifestation of the spirit of faith from the Bible. Some scriptural what? Instances of the manifestation of the spirit of faith. Number one. As a, some scriptural what? Instances of the manifestation of the spirit of faith. Number one, Moses and Pharaoh. Moses and who? No, the spirit of faith. Pharaoh came 
arrogantly, the way some people talk, they will say, my friend, get lost. What, can your God save you? Have you not heard some people say so? Let me see that your God, I will save you. Come on, get out. <laughs> Moses said, you Pharaoh, let God's people go that they may serve him. And if you don't let them go, your own firstborn, including everybody, shall be buried. Exodus 4, 23, 22, 23. Did it happen? Did it happen? That was the spirit of faith. Everybody who has used magical, demonic arts against us, they will bury their own. <laughs> Number two is David and Goliath. David and who? Goliath. That's the spirit of faith. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, 45 to 47, he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? I, I'll bring your head down. That is not normal. A boy with a small stature, look at the giant and say, listen, I'll bring your head down. Spirit of what? Faith. Goliath represents giant. Every, even giant of poverty is a Goliath. So if you are someone with a giant of inferiority complex, whatever pos, poses as a giant will go down as I'm speaking now. In the name of Jesus. Third instance is Elijah and the prophets of Baal. Elijah and who? 1 Kings 18, 25 to 30. He said, call on your God. Call on your God. <laughs> he said, call, and their God did not answer. Their God did not what? Their God did not answer. All those who are using demonic forces to challenge your God, when they call on those gods, they will not answer. <laughs> the spirit of what? Long ago, I was in Bible school and I was going to a village called Bolo in Okrika in River State. I was on water, alone with a man paddling the boat. And I saw one Malina, Malina of young people who don't know used to be what they use as currency, and they believe it's a deity, something they use for a deity. And the thing, he tied it on the boat. So my eye picked it. I said, What is this? He said, Shut up! He said, What is this? I said, Shut up! He said, Don't touch it. I said, I pulled it in. And pulled out. I said, Fenimus so exists. I'm on water. Let him come. Fenimus is a deity they worship in the cricket. I said, Fenimus so exists. I'm on water. I'm not on the land. And it was drizzling. They believe that you bring thunder. I said, Let him come. He didn't come. And he cannot come. So it's a spirit of faith. I got to my father's compound and they put raffia in front of the house. I said, what is this? He said, don't touch your... He used to call me uncle. He said, don't touch. I pull it. I said, what is this? He said, I take my left hand and drag the, right, the palm front. Of. I said, he said, it's where the family... I said, shut up! Man. This family, they did not get head. Come on. Get out. Kicked everything out. Today, that place has no shrine. The only family in the community where my parents came from without a shrine. Nobody passed libation. I turned the place to a hall. The demons did not appear. Every devil, all the enchantments against you, they'll be quiet after today. That's about, is it the third one I gave you the scripture? The fourth example is Elijah and Ahab concerning the rain. Elijah and what? Consigning the rain. In 1 Kings 17 verse 1. <laughs> and Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain this year's but according to my word. Yeah, according to what? It's a power. It's a power. In 1 Kings 18, 41, 45, he said, now go, the same Ahab. Now the rain will fall. How many saw rain wanted to fall before service? We told her. I called the by reception. I said, look, I'm not going to pray. You must declare that rain must not fall till so so time. Spirit of faith. Because if I do it, this is me. So I said, get up from your seat. Tell the rain to fall at so-so time. That it must not fall now. We have service. It says, sir, spirit of faith. 
I got up, saw sun instead of rain. I said, I said, tell the rain. I said, this is the time it is permitted to fall. Elisha, today, be baptized with that same grace in the name of Jesus. <laughs> that you will say, by this time, my paper must be signed. You don't, you don't beg issues. You say, look, I give it three days, sign my paper. That spirit of faith. You give decree and it's established. It's not that the man refused to sign my paper. He has been playing politics with me. He said, my friend, you sign it. Three days. And then the man will just stay where he is. He cannot sleep. He will sleep. He will dream your paper. He eat your paper. He go your paper. Do you like that kind of spirit? That's what we're talking. You are baptized right when you issue. It becomes a law. It becomes a decree. It is starting right now. In the name of Jesus. Then the fifth example is Elisha and the officer of the king. Elisha and the officer of the king. 2 Kings 7. Elisha, 2 Kings 7, 1 to 2. Elisha said, by this time tomorrow, the man said, my friend, go and let's get lost. Even if you're a man of God, can this thing be? How can he say, by this time tomorrow? You know, sometimes people even do. They say, forgot these jokers, all these men of God, they just talk rubbish. Don't mind them. They just they want to make noise. Even fellow men of God, sometimes don't believe when some men of God talk. They said, I don't want to make noise. How can he talk like that? I was talking, I would be a millionaire when I was a poly, po, polonia. <laughs> I said, I would be a multi billionaire when I was what? A polonia. Spirit of faith. Spirit of what? How can somebody with one suit, one jacket, one coat, not suit, one coat, come up and say, Listen, I'm one of the richest pastors? If you don't have a spirit of faith, you'll be afraid. He said, what if, if I talk like this and members don't give me money? What are I going to do now? You'll be afraid. First, you'll be afraid. You know why? It, when it comes upon you, you don't dare nobody. You don't mind people. How can I? How can I, I my shoe was broken or under. And I come and said, listen. This man you're sitting today will be one of the, is the, one of the richest pastors. Spirit of faith. If you don't have it, you say, ah, if I talk like that, what of members refuse to give me money now? <laughs> but if we tell the spirit of faith, nothing will work. Today, you will dare the impossible. Yeah. You've been giving, but you know what is your problem? No spirit of faith. You give, 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 give. Then when they call you, they say, we don't know what's happening in this country. They say, but I think I applied for a job. I don't know. The man say we will not sign. I don't know. Do you know anybody who can talk to him? The person of faith said, listen, by tomorrow you're signing my paper. When you speak, is a law. Sixth example is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Who? He said, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not mindful of your decree. <laughs> Says me of it. Daniel 3, 14 to 18. Daniel 3, 14 to 18. They said, we are not mindful. Shadrach, Meshach, we are not mindful. <laughs> but let us tell you this truth. We will never bow to your God. We will never what? Bow to your God. Who will never bow to your God. Are you getting what I'm talking about? He said, we will never bow to your God. Did they bow? No. They said it with their mouth and God confirmed it. Number seven example is Jesus and Herod. Many don't know that Jesus and Herod. Look at what <laughs> Jesus and Herod. He referred to Herod as a fox. I said, what? Jesus calls people, he abused people. Those are Jesus abused. He abused people. Let me show you from the Bible. They said, Jesus, did you abuse? He abused Herod. He told him, go and tell that fox. He called him a fox. Luke 13, 31, 32. You know, some people say, why a man of God abuse people? You're yeah, a man of God. Yeah. Are you not a man of God? Man of God is not the man who wants to pull people. Are you not a man of God? Are you a man of devil? You're yeah, a man of God, a woman of God. Are you not a man of God? The same day, look at it. There came a certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, that Jesus, get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. <laughs> Are you getting me now? Then spirit of a couple. And he said unto them, go ye and tell who? Who is the fox? Herod. He called him a fox. He didn't say go and tell King Herod. He said, tell that fox. After he finished him here, he died like a rat. Once ate him up. Everybody challenging any of us. They will die like rats. 
He said, go and tell that fox. He called him a fox. Are you holier than Jesus? If, if I talk like that, that's why nothing has happened. In another example is Bishop the Lord was full of faith came and said, listen, this building, faith I'm not going to be finished in one year. <laughs> That's not normal. That's not what? That's not normal. He said, in one year, faith tabernacle by all architectural, structural standards cannot be finished in one year. But the building was finished in one year. Full of faith came. Roof, two months to, to dedication. Roof was not on. He said, God has built the wall in six days. Making this roof will not be an issue to him. So it's full of faith. Even pastors would think we are shaking. He said, this man, in the case. It, and it happened the way he spoke. Are you going to have now? Spirit of faith. It makes you say some things that are, they sound unbelievable. But must happen. They speak what? The unbelievable to make it believable. How to connect with the spirit of faith? How to connect with the spirit of faith? How many of you want it? Do you want it? Marie Bregedia Katala. Zi Braketole Brekeshisa so Prakatale Kedia. How to connect with the spirit of faith? In 1 Corinthians 12, verse 7, it said, The manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with her. So God wants you to profit with it. Do you want to profit with it? To, so it's available to everybody. It's available to who? It's available to everybody. And the gifts of God, they are without repentance. Romans 11 verse 29. From scripture, we understand that God has given certain men the spirit of faith. They are people, both past and present. The spirit of what? Faith. One thing is this. Even if the man is not alive, the spirit does not die. <laughs> Somebody can be gone, but the spirit of faith in him will still be walking. Elisha died. But the spirit of faith in him raised up the dead. They threw a dead man into his grave. His skeleton, his bones raised the dead. That is, they are buried Elisha. Inside the grave, they buried him. They threw somebody inside. The man woke up. So the spirit does not die. If you doubt it, be watching Bess Daosa now. And he said, be healed. You'll be healed. It's not alive, oh, but you'll be healed. Be watching Katrikuman. And say, be healed. You'll be healed. Because the spirit of faith, the word of God, does not die. Is Peter alive? Why is the word from the Bible still working? So the spirit of faith does not die. Is that true, sir? Now, in Ephesians chapter 4, 8, 11 to 13, it says, wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave what? Gifts unto men. 11. And he gave some what? Apostles and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and some teachers. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of body of what? Christ. So he gave some men gifts so that they can use it to bless the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of what? The faith. And to the knowledge of the Son of God. Unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue, stature of the fullness of Christ. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. It is transferable. It is what? The gift is transferable. When they saw Elisha, they said the spirit of Elijah doth rest on him. Second Kings 2.15. When it was said, he went to Tulsa, Oklahoma and desired the spirit of faith on Kenneth Hagin. He said he was in a convention. And inside the convention, he was wrapped, focused on Kenneth Hagin. He said, Lord, I love this bit of faith in this man. He made faith so real. And he said, all of a sudden, something fired. And God spoke to him. The button has now been handed over to you. He said, his face changed. He saw when Kenneth Hagin's face changed. And then from that day, he began to see himself operate exactly like Kenneth Hagin. Are you getting what I'm talking about? So, it 
can be transferred from one vessel to what? Another. Requirement for the impartation of the spirit of faith. What are the requirements? For the impartation of the spirit of faith, and then we'll be done. What are the requirements for this impartation of the spirit of faith? Impartation is a transference of spiritual gift from one vessel to another. Impartation is a transference of spiritual what? Give from one vessel to another. It is the actual manifestation of God's power transferred through an anointed vessel. I said it is the transference of spiritual gift from one vessel to what? Another. It is the actual manifestation of God's power transferred through an anointed vessel. Impartation is not new. It's not what? God in the Old Testament, for instance, in Numbers 11, 16 to 17, he took the spirit upon Moses and poured out upon the 70 elders. In Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 9, Moses was impacted with the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of what? When, sorry, Joshua, when Moses laid hands on him. And then Romans chapter 1, verse 11, Paul said that I'm impacted unto his spiritual gift. Number one requirement, A, is new birth. Is what? If you want spiritual gift, the gift of faith, spirit of faith, you must be born again. He said, don't put an old wine to a new wine skin. Mark 2.22. So you don't take the old and expect the new to come. Are you going to say now? Otherwise it will bust the wine. He said, and no man put a new wine to what? An old wine skin. You can't mix it. As the new wine don't bust the bottles. And the wine is filled. And the bottles will be mad. But new wine must be put what? Into a new bottle. Talk about the wine. Talk about the spirit of God. Is that true, sir? He said, turn you at my reproof. And I will what? Behold, I'll pour out my spirit unto you. Proverbs 1 to 3. So there has to be a turning before it can be your turn. Then Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord, what? Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of what? The Holy Spirit. As 238. You must be born again. John 3, 3 and 7. So if you are not born again, you cannot have the what? The spirit of faith. Is that clear, sir? B. Test for it. What I said? Be tested for it. How many of you are tested? Even as I'm talking now. How many of you want it? He <laughs> said, but the desire of the righteous shall be what? If you don't desire it, you won't get it. <laughs> Proverbs 10, 24, the people path. God will never give you the spirit of faith if you don't what? Desire. Elisha was the only one who desired it amongst the sons of the prophets. How many of you know that? Read your Bible. Every other person did not desire it. But Elisha said, whatever Elijah carry, I want to carry it. You can be in this church and not desire what I carry. <laughs> and just come, say, oh, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Just imagine you carry this grace. Which business will you go to that they tell you, they will tell you, no, we will not sign your paper. In Isaiah 44, verse 3, it said, For I will pour water upon him that is what? So, no test, no anointing, no spirit of faith. And floods upon the dry ground. And I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. So, there has to be a test. John 7, 37, 39. John 7, in the last day, that great of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man what? Let him come unto me and drink. And he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, has said, out of the village shall flow rivers of living water. Shout hallelujah. See, how do you get it? Through prayers. Through what? My prayers. Third requirement is prayers. In Luke 11, verse 13. Luke 11, 13. 
He said, if you're dead, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to do what? So you have to ask in prayer, oh God, I desire the spirit of faith. You pray. Then God will give it to you. Now look at the typical example in the Bible. In Luke chapter 3, 21 to the 2. Let me show you something that will baffle you. Listen. Look at the one, everybody. He said, now when all the poor were baptized, are you there? Let's do it together, I want to go. Now, when all the poor were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also been what? And what? And what? So many people were baptized, only he prayed. Then the heaven was what? And then look at what happened. And the Holy Ghost what? Descended in a body shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven. We said, that my beloved son, in who what? How? All the people baptized did not pray. Only he prayed. Check the Bible. So many were baptized. Many can be in church now. It is your intensity of prayer that determines the level of how you draw the virtue. Only he prayed. So the spirit came upon him. It didn't come upon all of them. So when we were time, say, oh God, you don't need car. If you have a spirit of faith, you command cars. You will speak and this will happen. Are you getting me now? Are you hearing what I'm talking about? You don't look for money. Money looks for you. With spirit of faith. D. Believe. Receive. And honor the carrier. Believe. Come on. Receive. And honor the carrier. <laughs> and honor who? Any carrier of the spirit of faith. Honor them. Believe them. Receive them. He said, believe the Lord your God. You shall be what? And believe his prophet. So shall you what? Second Chronicles 20, 20 B. The prophet you don't believe, you can't draw virtue from him. God cannot take whatever is in that man to put on you if you don't believe him. Elisha believed Elijah. That's why he carried it. Others don't believe him. And I said, don't you know he's going this night? They even make a mock, they made a mockery of Elijah. I said, don't you know? Do you know Elijah going was known? They said, oh, you know that like, God will take Elijah away. It was not he, you know. They said, Abed, let him go. I've not seen people who are in this church. They said, oh, my papa. I'm not talk, talking the talk. That's why you can't see any replication of grace I carry in their lives. All they do is to talk about me. You can never carry virtue of a man you dishonor. He said, in Matthew 10, 41, he that received the prophet shall receive what? The prophet reward. So the prophet you don't receive, you can't get anything from him. Is that true? He said, where is my honor? Malachi 1, 6. If I be your father, where is my what? Without contradiction, unless it's blessed of the better. Hebrews 7, 7. But let me throw this caution and then we'll go ahead to pray for ourselves. Are you blessed tonight? Let me say this as a warning. The gift and the impartation, the impartation, the impartation of the spirit of faith is not for merchandise. It's not for what? No, 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 no. It's not for sin. Because today we're in a generation where people sell what God has given to them. Uh, before I pray for you, drop, drop 20,000. Anybody want to see me, tell them to be dropping 50,000. 50, God will give you, but be careful. I've never merchandised what God gave to me. Um, he wants to see me, tell him 2 million. Let him feel firm based on his problem. <laughs> you know, we're in a society where everything that is money. People love money to a point that they can do anything for money. And you don't get it. Don't go to the man who have it thinking that you give him money to get it. No, I never met to a depot to bribe him with money. No, it's my heart for him. Don't use money to think that you can buy it with money. Now let me show you. Ask chapter 8 verse 18. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the hand, of the, laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given. He offered them what? 
you are finding one thinking that money can. Verse to 20, sorry, 19 and 20. Say, give me also this power that of whosoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee. Because thou hast taught that the gift of God may be purchased with money. You don't use money to get it. Don't think that the spirit of faith will come now. If I give Papa one million, I will get him. You have a wrong heart. You have a what? You have a, your heart is wrong. You will never get That's not how it works. I don't mind that. If I find that money, I will get him. We are not herbalist. No. It's not for sale. It's not for sale. Second. You may not tap of it if you despise the career. Despising the what? Career. When you despise the career, you can't get the spirit of faith. As powerful as Jesus, many people think that Jesus did miracles everywhere. There are places Jesus could not do miracles. Listen, as powerful as Jesus Christ, there were places he could not do what? Miracles. He could not do miracles in certain places. That's the Messiah. In Mark chapter 6, Three, five to six. Look at three. Jesus came to Nazareth. They said, is not this the carpenter? The son of Mary. Not be David, be me why no. Used to be big and I don't know what they talk about. Now him now, the same be man of God. <laughs> if I ever get lost to, me and you will not be mate. <laughs> is not this the carpenter? The son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and of Judah and Simon. And are not his sisters here with us? Are they, and they were offended at him. There are people who see me, even with, they, they look at me with disdain. I know, I know. This guy, where be they go to disco? Nine has seen the man of God. Somebody walked to my office. I said, Where are you now? I didn't raise my hand to shake him. He kept his hand like this. I didn't shake him. Since he went old boy, he'll get old boy anointed. He said, well, now? <laughs> I looked at him. I said, you are calling me a boy. Then he want me to pray for you. He said, Pastor, you need to pray for me. I didn't pray. Because already he started on the wrong note. He came with an old boy perspective. So he has to live with old boy anointing. The anointing you don't value, you can't draw virtue from it. In verse 5, he could dare do no mighty work. Did Jesus himself, oh? He could dare do no what? Because of the way they despise him. Some of you despise me. Some people, I know some people with this. Man. Every time I preach, all they do is to, to be analyzing my preaching. Now, so you don't go talk. Before I go talk, it's my name, but David Biomia. It's David Biomia. It's my father, but I told about his name. It's David, what? He wears a white suit with red tie. It's my father, but do I wear a white suit with red tie? Two, even if you are a son, you can't be the same with you. I am David the Biomia. He's David. Say no, they do like a dekwab. And they do like him, but nobody say I will I copy him totally. So if they eat like this, I'll go chop. Everyone has his own life. Even your child cannot exactly be like you. So I have my own unique nature. He has his own unique nature. I draw virtue from him. But listen, nothing in this world can you speak about the dekwab where I am negatively. You, you can't. You will even have the gods to say it. I don't pretend it. It's not, it's not something I pretend. It's something deep on the inside. You can't stand before me and speak against Adeboe. You are not mad. You are not mad. Even if the devil is your father. <laughs> it's like I, like, I like to hear. Do you know when you listen to anything they talk about the person you are unaccomplished. He said, all that he heard. The moment you say, okay, not true, you are also a victim of whatever the person. So you don't sit down. Just say, yeah. You say, shut up! A man of God spoke way about the way He was working with, he was my Bible school director. Bible school director. And he said, you know, um, David, I know if I talk, you will not agree. You know, I said, sir, I respect you, but stop! That was the person who was my director of Bible school. I said, Sir, I just said, Stop! I didn't pick his call for almost six, seven, six, seven years. 
That is my own title. I said, sir, I knew you through him. So if he says bad, then you have no use to me. I said, stop. He saw my face turned. Because what do I need from him? The virtue I carry is for you. The day you talk against me, everything impacted on you will go. You will, some of you, nothing. You are just shouting. Nothing is working because nothing from me is working you. Sit down to discuss me. Be discussing me because Chief, Chief George. <laughs> you no get fault. You say me, I get fault. You no get fault. Are you a saint? It is, it, to find, you know, when you love somebody, you don't see fault. I've never seen the first fault in Bishop Wedeko. And I won't see it. I won't what? That's why I'm a carrier of the spirit of faith. I can't see any fault in that way. That's why I carry this thing. You know, this thing you don't know. It's not how you get close to a man. It's not how you, if you like, sleep with the man on the same bed as his brother. You may not carry off him if your heart is disconnected. Elisha followed Elijah. If you look at Elijah's life, you must know that he was a shrewd man. Very shrewd. True? A man who can carry a knife and be cutting people. Yet, did Elijah say, Elijah say, Morgan, which way are you doing now? How are you going to cut people's head like that? Cut people's head like that. Jesus could not lay hands on them. He could say, save that he lay hands upon a few sick folk and heal them. So look at verse, he, verse 6. He, he, and he marveled because of their what? And he went around about the village. He was, he said, look at these people. Oh. There are people who are not in this church oh, who carry grace I carry. They are not members of the church. But they so believe in me that when they open their mouth, you see the replication of grace. And there are some who in this church never pray all that. They never pray for one person to be healed. They didn't say, as I pray, something happened. All day after, Papa, do this one. Papa, do this one. You, you know, if you ask yourself, why not pray for the sick to be healed? You did this church, you know, if you pray for a sick person, then we broke it. Then you're all, you have to say, Papa, Papa, say, Papa, say, Papa, say, Papa, all the teachers are preaching, you know, here, no, let Papa, Papa, do this one. My friend, go to another church. I cast you out. Go, 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 I don't want you. I want people who carry this grace. So when you appear, they say, no wonder you're connected. You don't need two persons. Once you appear, say, do you know Bishop Edipo? Once I talk, you say, there's something between you and this man. It doesn't hide. After this day from my heart, whatever this vessel carry, you carry it. In the name of Jesus. So your heart must be right. Your heart must be what? Your heart must be right. Let me say this before I close because we are going to pray. No matter how they offend you, refuse to be offended. <laughs> because <laughs> men who carry grace, they offend people. They what? They offend people. <laughs> no matter what. It, it thinks things have, not, things have happened that I should be offended. I refuse to be offended. I have gone to Shiloh, Shiloh, and I had no seat as close as I am to the system. It was not the only that did it to people working under him. They saw the love he has for me, so they set me up. <laughs> I got to Shiloh, no seat. The person is not even with him again. The man who punished me like that is not with him. Me, I'm still with him until Jesus comes. No seat. I stood like this. Sit and say, you see the man you love? See the way they're treating you here? I said, sit and shut up. Shut up. The man passed me five times, passed me. Say, I think he said... You get connection, yeah. We'll see where you go sit down. <laughs> there are people living in this job that can do it to you. Be careful. Some people, if they know you, I love you, uh, they can decide to punish you because of my love for you. <laughs> you come like this, they say, okay. I think say you want to close the problem. We'll go show you pepper. Now we'll be the people. <laughs> Don't mind them all. Just face what God asks you to get. There are people living in this job, they can do it to you. You come like this, say, no sitting down, get out. Get out, get out. Just because of your closeness. <laughs> Maybe I, they know that you love me a lot. They say, we'll go show you. I think it is say, no, Papa. We'll go see how you go taste it down here. Come on, get up. Please, don't mind them. They're everywhere. And such people most times don't stay long in the organization. All the people who show me Papa in living faith, they've all left. They've all, all of them. And some of them, I will die with Papa. They don't die with them. Today, they are attacking him everywhere. Please be careful. In Isaiah 55 verse 1, this thing is not gra-gra. 
It's a heart to heart. Oh, everyone that tested, come you to the waters. Are you there? And he that had no money, come you, buy and eat you. Come, buy wine and make without money and without price. It means you are not ready. It's not money they used to get it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And Proverbs 27, 18 to 19. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. So he that waited on his master shall be what? Honored. As in water face answered to face, so the heart of a man what? So there has to be connectivity. There has to be what? You connect it with the heart. Now listen. Let me share this testimony and then we pray. Early this year, I love a particular grace you know, at the boy. At the boy, we just simplify and say, Papa say, ah, I need to be accurate. It to be specific. It to be astounded. Ah. I said, what kind of thing is this? And I, during our 21 days fast, he now sent for me. He said, you should call me to see him. I said, guy, when a man of God at the best time sent for you, don't go careless. I said, this is my opportunity to tap off this grace this man carries. I prayed, 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 prayed. Then my heart was set. It's not long prayer. My heart was charged. As I appear, he talked, whatever he would talk with my wife, finished talking, we knelt down. I said, lay hands on me. Exactly what I wanted was what he spoke. And I came up with one online money devotion. And I said, by 3 p.m. today, the word came from God. I said, God said to me, by 3 p.m. today, every door will be signed. The testimony has been on to today. That is not my, my own. It was, the, I knew it was from Adiboye. Because of my connectivity in my heart. Today, I, I don't mean, that's what one of my, but Adiboye will say accurate word of knowledge, specific, unconventional. I don't used to say like that. I said, by 3 p.m. today, God, God said to him, by 3 p.m. today, all the, people are testifying from Indonesia, Australia, from here. Till today, testimonies still come. 3 p.m., 3 p.m., 3 p.m. That is where I got it from. So just imagine you get all you now, join your own. Collect the one, I, I collected from Adeboy, collected, collected, the Amboka is gone, Billy Graham. Don't you now collect all? Will it be the same? Two major ways through which it will flow to you. By spoken word. By what? By spoken word. The spirit entered to the one that spake unto me. Is that through? Ezekiel 2 2. As 10 44. Why Peter yes speak? What? The Holy Ghost fell on them. And then Matthew 8 8. He says, Speak the word only. The sentence and my servant shall be healed. Keep hearing the word of God from the right source. So as I'm speaking now, somebody is receiving it right now. Yeah. Number two, finally. By physical contact. By physical what? Contact. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. As he lay hands on Joshua, he received. 2 Timothy 1, 6 and 7. 2 Timothy 1, 6 and 7. He said, Wherefore I put the remembrance that thou stay up the gift of God, which is indeed by the putting of my hands. So when hands are laid physical contact, for God has not given the spirit of fear, but the power of love and of a sound mind. How many of you are expectant? Are you expectant? Because I told you to fast. So it means that already before you came, you know what you want. Then I said, fast, I'm prepared. Second Kings 2, 9 to 10. Elijah said to Elijah, Elijah said to Elijah, if you see me when I'm caught up, I'm an expectant. Are you expectant? Rise to your faith. And Luke eleven thirteen 13 says, if ye dead, being evil, know how to give gifts, shall give to your children. How much more shall he give the, your, your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that what? Ask. You pray intensely. You pray what? For the release of the spirit of faith at work in this vessel. And in this commission, Lord, let there be a little spirit of what? Faith. A little spirit of what? <laughs> you will get it and you'll be shocked with this. We went to Maryland for a crusade. And a man walked to me and sat by my side and said, I want to be governor of Maryland state. This man was a Republican. Maryland is a democratic state. For 150 years, they only had three terms where Republicans ruled. The rest has been Democrats. And I said, I want to be governor. The people by my side, men of God said, don't pray for him. He will never win. The spirit of faith came upon me as I climbed on the stage. I said, listen, because you came. That is not normal. Against us, 
He became governor two times of Maryland State. Spirit of what? No, that hand should be what you Spirit of it, it will make you say things that even you will wonder. It is not something you premeditate. You are going to say, Lord, baptize me with the spirit of what? That this vessel carries. I desire the way you pray. Elisha prayed and he got it. Are you ready to pray that prayer? It is you that will determine what you get. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. That's the way the Holy Ghost speaks to me. Pastor Joe, come. I use the illustration. Now, this pastor is our pastor in charge of a word of tongue. If you watch online money devotion, stand at the back, please. You will notice that his preaching changed. Be talking small, 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 small. I'm going to put life inside your preaching. He, will, he has never won the God in angry. I said, preach with life now, my friend. I said, so you mean they kidnap somebody under you and the person not released? I will deal with you. You didn't say, Papa, why are they talking? Why are they threatening me? Now, of recent, I noticed the spirit of faith in me jumped on him. If he's preaching, you have to testify. It's not the eloquence. So when he jumps on you, you can be a very soft person and get results. It was not like that before. If I talk to you, you get angry, you won't get it. Because one thing with coaches, they tell you raw things. I've abused him. I say, you, they kidnap somebody one time. I say, if that person not released, you are finished. I say, I will deal with you. I will suck you. He didn't say, you see, because I walk under him. If someone kidnap, he, said, he went and the spirit that is in me came upon him. In two days, 24 hours, the person was released. Are you going to sit down? The spirit of what? Faith. If you want to carry it, please find no fault in the vessel. I'd rather pray for the vessel. Don't be finding fault. It's Paul said, pray for us. This say find no fault. He said, we are, what do you call a man? Man? This is a God of man. Man of God. So we are human beings. Me, I eat beans. If I'm, if I, <laughs> my best food is beans. That means I'm human. I'm talking about as an example. Today, when it takes money devotion, testimonies come. Every money devotion takes testimony come. It was not like that before. Before, in fact, if it's preaching, you want to sleep. But the spirit of faith, because the vessel is love. Is what? Now, all of you lift your hands. I won't pray long prayer. You can go and lift your hands. Set your heart. Now I stand as an instrument of God. Every grace this vessel carries. The spirit of faith from my fathers that walk in me. Put your right hand here. Now be released to you in the name of Jesus. The spirit of faith that walk in me from my fathers. That same spirit be released to you in the name of Jesus. The spirit of faith that walk in this vessel. Come upon you now in the name of Jesus. Say receive it. No 
Oh, pray for yourself intensely. Pray for yourself. Jesus mighty name. How many know they can never be the same? From today, don't be afraid. Don't be what? Boldly say this. You see yourself. From today, this new grace upon you begin to speak. Nobody whose heart is open worldwide, there will not be a carrier and a person who replicate this sense of faith in the name of Jesus. You will see outstanding results. If you believe you have received it, then give him thanks. Give God thanks if you're a receiver. If you're a receiver, give him thanks. Go ahead and give him thanks. Tell him thank you. Are you telling God thank you? Go ahead and tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, from my heart, it is now yours. Yeah. 